So guys, it is like 4 o'clock, and about 12 hours ago, this happened to me. Look at this. Glad nobody's outside, and glad nobody's pets are out of here. Because if this was a split, when, um, somebody, um, if somebody was out here while this tree split, yeah, this tree's pretty dang solid. And the... There was actually a tornado. There was actually a tornado about three blocks away. I don't know if I don't know how we're still alive, but my mom prayed to God last night and told him, please protect us while we sleep. And you know. Alright, so anyways. Yeah, that tree was pretty solid and there was a tornado about three blocks away. Uh one of our one of my uh my therapists trampoline. Um, actually got split and actually got pretty bent. And, um, I'm trying to put the basketball over here. But now, because, because of the situation with all the drains and kind of all the drains and all the pipes I've been hitting over there by the fence. Um, looks like now I'm forced also, I'm also forced to put it five foot away from the driveway because I dug right here, kept hitting the rock, so now I gotta get a post hole digger and dig it five foot away from the driveway if I don't hit another rock. And, um, yeah, um, a neighbor's basketball hoop fell over the street, up the street. Good thing my spalding was laying down because it could have caused severe damage. And that would not have been good if some people's cars would have got damaged. So, um, oh yeah, let me show you the new basketball hoop I got. Oh yeah, it goes from seven and a half to ten foot. It has a 52 inch backboard and it has a breakaway, spring breakaway rim. Well, not breakaway, it's the slam it rim. And, uh, I'm not going to show it to y'all. I'm going to let y'all guess for five seconds. So guess what basketball hoop I have. Well, keep guessing. Keep guessing. Well, uh, 52 inch lifetime. With the slime at rim. 52 inch shatterproof backboard. I've been waiting to get this thing installed. And... It's just been a big pain in the butt at digging the hole for it. So I gotta put it back in the driveway where it's kind of in harm's way, but it's not that much in harm's way. It's not completely in the street. Like every single 10 minutes a car drives by. As you can hear. Maybe sometimes every three minutes a car drives by. But uh this sucks because this tree is now gonna have to be cut down before. Yeah, before it falls on our cars and damages them and... <sighs> Man, my sisters love to play on this tree, but... We have to tear it down now. Because it's weak, I guess. Or, I don't know. Why did it split? I guess the, um... I guess the, um... Wind got the best of it and just knocked it down, I guess. Yeah, and if we dig in the holes, we'll get all this mud. So, um, I have to keep the spalding for now so I can have something to play on. You wonder why I got a brand new basketball hoop? Guess. I'll let this go to 25. Okay, I'm going to show y'all why I got a new hoop. Because look at this. A really big crack in the base. Even though I use leak seal from Rust-Oleum and, um, yeah, look at this. The leak seal is starting to peel off the top. It didn't, doesn't hold real good. I'm sure you could put sand inside of it and duct tape it, but, yeah, hold on, let me show you something. This was not from the storm, by the way. This is for me not putting enough weight on it up there, not being, it wasn't being level. 
and then it fell over on me. I thought it was staying up, but it didn't, and then it fell over and the rim got bent. So, I figured I'd make a little bit of vlog today telling y'all what happened. And, uh, well, that's the reason reason why I get the in-ground is because the base split on the other one. And portables are just too dangerous. They can break. I actually did dent my dad's hood. So, um, we gotta do what's the safest. The, we gotta do what's the most safe for the family. So, yeah. Just a disclaimer, guys. Um, this video, I mentioned about the basketball hoop falling on me. It did not fall on me, guys. It fell in front of my face. Like, not in front. Not in front of my face, but it fell on the ground right in front of me, and I'm not hurt or anything, so don't worry, I'm not, everybody's safe, and nobody get hurt from the storm or um, from the basketball hoop falling or nothing like that. The basketball hoop, by the way, guys, it fell about two months ago, because of me not putting enough weight on top of it, so that's a little bit of dis disclaimer for this video. So, yeah. Later. So, yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Go to my Instagram and Facebook. And it's Nissan on a base. Peace out.